it's Katie and welcome back to my booktube channel. Welcome to Bookmas Day 8. This is the Christmas movie book tag and this tag was originally created by Peace Love Books XO so I will link the original video down in the description for you guys but I'm really excited to do this so let's jump into it. So the first movie is Elf with the quote Santa I know him so which author have you met that you can't believe you've met? And sadly, I have not met any authors, but I have a long list of authors I would love to meet. There's Stephanie Garber and Carrie Maniscalco, obviously, Tessa Bailey, Elle Kennedy, Trisha Levenseller. I could go on and on. <laughs> the second movie is Jingle All the Way. What book or author's books would you do anything to get? And again, this list is very long. I had a hard time narrowing it down. But I would do anything for the sequel to Once Upon a Broken Heart. I would do anything for the last book in the Kingdom of the Wicked series. I would do anything to get the companion novel to It Happened One Summer, which is called Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. I literally want to get my hands on that one so bad. And also, like, literally anything by Mariana Zapata, I would do anything for. Number three is Holiday in Handcuffs, which character would you love to kidnap and spend the holidays with? This one took me a while to come up with someone for, um, but I ended up choosing Evangeline Fox, who's the main character in Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. She is probably the character I connect to the most out of all of Stephanie Garber's books, and I was absolutely obsessed with her and Once Upon a Broken Heart. Her hair is pink. She seems super sweet and fun to be around, and she's a very curious person, so I would just love to see the way that she views the world, and I think it would just be really fun to spend the holidays with her. I feel like she would love to do a bunch of like festive things like I do, so I think that would be really, really fun. Number four is The Holiday. Which character would you love to switch lives with? And this one I also wanted to say Evangeline just because I love the world that Stephanie Garber created in Once Upon a Broken Heart and I feel like it'd be really fun to be kind of like thrown into a world with those characters. Now don't get me wrong, I probably would not survive very long so maybe that's a mistake but I really love Evangeline and I feel like I can connect with her so I would really love to meet the other characters in that world as well. And another character I think it'd be really cool to switch places with is Amelia from Kingdom of the Wicked. Um, again, I would not survive very long, so I would only switch places with her if I also had her magical powers and just all of her abilities that she uses to stay alive. And yeah, it would not end well if I didn't have those. But I think it'd be so fun. I would love to meet Wrath and some of the other Princes of Hell. I feel like they're just so badass and so cool. It'd be really crazy to meet them. I just, I don't know, I just love those worlds, so I would probably do anything to end up in one of them. Number five is White Christmas. What book was really hyped up but just didn't live up to your expectations? And I honestly had a few books that popped in my head, but the one that I have to go with is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This book is super hyped up. I feel like it's some people's favorite Christina Lauren book. I feel like they really love it. And it's pitched as an enemies to lovers book. And technically it is, but I'm somebody that loves a good slow burn. And I really didn't feel like the romance was slow enough. I think they progressed way too quick from enemies to lovers. And it just really left me feeling very disappointed. There was also a ton of secondhand embarrassment in this book. And it just didn't hit home the way I wanted it to, so I was very disappointed. Movie number six is Love Actually. What is your favorite romance or fictional couple? I have so many this year. I just fell in love with so many couples. For one, Wrath and Amelia. That was probably the first fictional couple I really fell in love with at the beginning of the year. I love seeing them together, even though they're not fully together. I don't know if that makes sense, but just like the way they interact with each other is just so much fun and I ship it so hard. Then we have Vanessa and Aiden from Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. I have read that book twice this year and I didn't even read it till like September, but 
I just love them together. It's a grumpy sunshine, slow burn romance, and we had to wait so long for them to be together, but it was worth every second, and they are just so cute. After that, we have Piper and Brendan from It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey, and I was hoping I would love them in that book, but I had no idea how much I would love them. I literally cuddled with this book when I was done reading it. I didn't want it to end. I loved seeing them together and they had a lot more emotional depth and development throughout the book than I was expecting. And I just really, really loved them. They were so cute together. I shipped it from like their first interaction and they're just so cute. Okay, the last couple I'm going to fangirl over is Lena and Aaron from the Spanish Love Deception. And you guys have probably heard all about this book. I finally read it in November and they are so cute. They make such a great team. It's so fun because this has all my favorite tropes. It's fake dating, enemies to lovers, slow burn, a workplace romance, grumpy sunshine. It's just so good. And they make such a great team. They're so cute together and just the way that they end up caring about each other and the things that they do for each other are just so sweet. Like, if you haven't read this book yet, please go do it. It is so cute. I read the Kindle version and this book is at the top of my Christmas wish list. I really need a physical copy and I need to reread it. It's They're just so cute. Um, but I'm gonna cut myself off there because I feel like I could talk about so many fictional couples I love especially because most of these books I've read over the last few months and they really have stuck with me. I love all these characters. I've read so many amazing romances this year, but that is the end of the Christmas movie book tag. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you do subscribe, please click the notification bell so you know when I upload next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you in my next video.